What's good, y'all? Y'all all right? Happy New Year. Let me say this before the New Year's come, because I'm moving on. It's the last of the year. You know, I usually don't feed into this. The group doesn't feed into this. It's been 20-something long years. First and foremost, math, I'm disappointed in you, bro. In my expert opinion, you didn't ask me anything about Jay Hood. Then you want to have Jay Hood up there. You could have called me on my line to fact check the shit he was saying. But you got to do what you got to do. We all got to do what you got to do when it comes to working and getting business out. But that, my man, was some whack ass shit. But I get it. Love is love. I still love y'all. Still love the show. Get what it is. But next time you could you could G check or fact check the thing. One, we ain't no clickbait group. Luch don't owe you no fucking interview. And nobody definitely don't owe Jay Hood no fucking 60 Gs. I'm really disappointed in Jay Hood, to, to be honest with you. Hood has been 20-something years, bro. 20-something years. We never spoke greasy about you after you did your bullshit, you did your sucker shit. Nobody never said anything wrong about you at no time. Actually, I spent three... After you did that bullshit, I spent about three years of my life protecting your ass. When people wanted to touch you and harm you in places and call me and had to drop on you, leave that man alone. God bless him. You know what I'm saying? But here it is 20 years later. Luke's been in your house to fight your father for you before. Niggas gave your mother money when your house burnt down. We actually made you into the artist you are. Luch used to argue with Flex to play your shit and do this, but your old 60 G's, the label didn't even really want to fuck with you, but your old 60 G's, and the sucker shit about it where I ain't even say, you know you ain't no 60 G's because you tried to fucking sue us. You went to the lawyers. You tried to sue us. You tried to see that we had your publishing, to see that we didn't have your publishing, and your publishing was there. And then I bet you never told the people there that I told you, hey, whatever you want to do, however you're feeling, God bless you. I'll make sure it's okay. We'll fix whatever you what needs to be fixed, how it needs to be fixed. But you still went and did that sucker shit you did. So the niggas never wanted to fuck with you. And 20 years down the line, you are still bitter and using our name for attention. Why didn't you make successful albums in them 20 years or do something with your time successful? That is on you, my brother. You're not, you're not part of D-Block because you ain't cut from the cloth we cut from. We would never turn around because we ain't happy. Or the niggas who took care of you, you feel old more that you never gave shit to, that gave you your name, your look, your, 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 your fucking everything, and you wanted more looking at other people and you didn't get it so you decided to flip. You ain't like us. So that's why it didn't work. But I'm offended that you didn't just go up there and actually fucking apologize. I don't know why you didn't just apologize. And when, or how the fuck are you a co-founder of D-Block? Are you fucking kidding me? I love you. I wish you the best. God bless you. Keep doing what you're doing. But keep our fucking name out your mouth, man. Keep our name out your mouth and anybody... You speak on our name with respect. We showed you niggas what loyalty is. What honor is. I don't care about clickbaits. I don't care about interviews. Do your shit and get it right. Jay Hood is not the block because when he got did the sucker shit, he didn't have discipline, dedication, and determination. So, boom. That's all it is. But damn, Hood, you should have apologized as a grown man 20 years later and just left it at that. But no. Here we go. Nobody owes you a damn thing. And stop lying on people's names. Like, I've never addressed this shit in all of these years. Always say, God bless you. Keep it moving. But damn, bro, 20 years later, you still... Come on, man. What's up, bro? What's up with you? 20 years later? Are you kidding me? 20 years later, you don't got nothing better to talk about? We never spoke on you bad. Never said anything ill about you. Never been on any radio station, anywhere, TV, and said one damn thing about you. You dragged the chain on the floor. You ran around. You, you, you was trying to be with 50. And them G unit didn't take you after neither. You flipped because you thought they was going to take you. That shit backfired on you. See, you're not saying everything that happened. And I don't want to bother to say it because it's fucking 20 years ago. And who gives a fuck? 
Move on with your life. But you ain't gonna lie and say somebody robbed you for something they didn't rob you for. When niggas did nothing but years of taking care of you. Did you ever get charged for a studio fucking session ever? Did anybody ever ask you for a receipt or money back or do anything when niggas bought, bought you gear, clothes, sneakers, helped your mom pay the rent? Did anybody ever give you a fucking, like every other fucking record company, an invoice? No. Relax, buddy, and keep it G. And just as far as this clickbait shit comes, man, stay honorable or, or don't. But don't, don't try to use us for clickbait. That shit ain't fly, man. This shit ain't fly, and it ain't cool. I'm fresh out the gym, and I, 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 I'm on my fifth post seeing you lie, and I'm tired now. Now I'm fucking tired. It's been 20 some years, and you want to use our shit to stay alive? Nah, buddy. Stay up. God bless you. Wish you the best. Do something else with your time, man. Do something else convenient, constructive, and self-helpful to yourself. Please. It's Bryce Davis on the check-in. And already knew once this J-Hood interview got out, that I was going to start some shit with the locks. You know, Styles P responded to, you know, J-Hood saying that the shit's old, which I agree with. I'm not sure why he's still talking about it so many years later. May possibly because he ain't do much with his career since then. And, you know, also checks Matt Fafa for, you know, putting it out and not asking him about it during the interview. But it may be possible that... He interviewed Jay Hood after Styles P and you know what I'm saying? Maybe that's how it happened. I'm not quite sure. You know, Hood, he put out his grievances with D Block. I do think him dragging the chain messes chances up with signing with 50 Cent and being a part of G Unit. And I do believe sometimes it's best to keep certain problems internal instead of external. You know, for instance, you know, it's totally totally separate analogy, but you know. Uh, I say, you know, shit went bad with the label, you know, it's almost like getting with a chick that you know is fucked up in the head and you know her relationships don't last. You can't keep a man and you go and tell the next man, yo, she crazy. Like, nah, you ain't got to do all that. Let them find out the hard way or the easy way, either or. They're going to find out regardless. So that's what I think, you know, he ain't got to really drag D-Block under the bus if you know, what he's saying is true, then, you know, he ain't got to do all that, you know. I do believe some things he was saying was true, only because to him, a lot of things were probably a bigger deal than it was to the rest of them, so he's more likely to remember it a little more vivid. But I also believe there was some bitterness in there, you know, and some exaggerations as well. But, you know, we'll never truly know. And at this point, don't really care. It's 2023. You know, we kind of passed that. Hopefully, Hood puts out some new music. I seen he did something with Shaheem. New music as in, like, you know, really does something with his career. You know, and that's not a shot because, you know, it is what it is. You know, the industry is a little funny. But, you know, shit. You got to do shit. You know what I'm saying? You can't be known for, you know, linking with a hot label and getting dropped. You know, that can't be the end of your legacy. So, you know. I always fuck with Hood, you know what I'm saying? Like with the freestyles and all that, I always thought he had bars. So, you know, maybe we can take it to another level and, you know, do something else. But anyway, if you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe. 